I remember when um, one of my teachers, Joseph Goldstein, was, was talking about his practices with, with wise or mindful speech, and he, we were, and he was describing gossiping, and again, it's one of these incredibly pervasive things, talking about others when they're not there in a way that's not completely reverential, right? <laughs> I mean, it happens a lot. So, um, you know, to say to yourself, okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to talk behind anybody's back in a way that I wouldn't speak right to their face. So that's what he committed to. And he said he has conversations with others, had a lot of silence, <laughs> a lot of quietness, you know. So what makes it so hard to give up, you know? And, and part of it, as I mentioned, is that there's some pleasure, some sense of, of boosting and inflating a you know, filling out of the who we are when the other is slightly less. It makes, you know, there's a putting us up, putting other down. But it's incredibly seductive. I mean, think of the best-selling papers in the world or the tabloids and newspapers at, at a supermarket, right? And what are they? I mean, they're just basic gossip slander about people that are very well known and we have some fascination that we can't get rid of. So we get interested and we get entertained and this mind is restless and we find with others that sometimes it's the easiest pathway with people that are our friends or partners or whatever to um, entertain ourselves and boost ourselves by talking in a slightly disparaging way or a very disparaging way about others. And it causes suffering. And just to say that, that slander doesn't always, it's not just what we say, it's also what we don't say. Because if we're with a group of people that are, are slandering or talking in a demeaning way about some other group, some other po group in the population that's a minority, making uh, jokes that are demeaning, and we don't in some way say anything, if we laugh along, if we act like we're part of it, we're part of it. So, the suffering of it is that in any moment that we have any judgment and we speak out that judgment actually makes it more full-blown about others, a negative aversive judgment, uh, we are basically creating that, that armoring around our heart that, um, that pushes others away. We're distancing from others and we're creating a self that is in some way a, an aversive self. That is our spacesuit identity. One friend, and by the way, it doesn't matter whether um, we are insecure and it makes us feel, actually it kind of reinforces insecurity when we talk about others or, or it makes us feel grandiose. One friend described, uh, he and his, co-workers would go to a bar after, after hours and, and talk about their boss who they kind of collectively disliked and he was a very controlling guy or whatever. But he told me that after some months of it he realized he always left feeling a little bit slimy. He said, do you know what I mean? That word was the best, and I thought it was such a right word that you just don't quite like yourself you can feel that it's a little bit slimy to be talking about others and that when we start committing ourselves to mindful speech you start becoming even more sensitive to it feeling like a contraction in your own heart when you speak about another in a way that's so far from reverential. Mm -hmm.